Hi everyone, I am Honeywell and this is part 6 of our colony ship challenge. Uh, in the challenge, uh, the only rules are, are to build your base as usual, but don't recycle your colony ship, which makes it for a harder start. In the last episode, uh, we were very fortunate with our first solar flare and only Laurel was caught out in it. Uh, she's in a sick base, so she has a 50-50 chance of surviving because even though we have uh, four medical supplies, uh, Dallas, our one medic, also died in the last episode to, to an unfortunate meteor accident in this very hallway, and nobody seems to care. Everyone's going about their business like she was never here. We also decided to uh, cancel construction on the lab uh, due to our power situation that has been ongoing since the day we landed, uh, which we are going to correct in this episode, even if I have to kill the whole colony to do it. Because I'm very tired of turning everything <laughs> off and on. Very, very tired of this. And Laurel did not make it. I am sorry you died, Laurel. You were always a hard worker. The day you got off the ship, I think it was yesterday, <laughs> you went straight to the mine. And I can only assume that's what you love doing best. So, yeah. Sorry about your luck. And... Very poor. Very poor. I have been, with our poor man plastic solution here, I've been building everything but a, a second meal maker because um, I've, in the early days when uh, food is limited, the I find that they kind of have a better chance of um, making the the pasta recipe, which we're growing the tomatoes and wheat. Uh, if there's not a lot of options, if there's only one place to put the food, it seems to work out better. Um, We're going to lose power. Get out of there. And you know what? Let's... We cannot afford to lose this food, so... Did we already lose it? I hope... Oh, well, there's some very poor food. I... <laughs> yes, hurry up, colonists, and put the day-old manager special food in the meal maker. And that's all you get. And I'm just sitting here letting this power run out when food is a problem. I hate to do this, though. <laughs> oh, you guys are so lucky that I close the dorm all the time. I guess that's one, uh, one benefit. Still five to go. Okay, let's let's turn off the dorm and turn off the processing plant and the airlock. Oh, our robots out there! Come on in, CR one. We'll try and keep uh, Jamie in bed. And we'll close the airlock. Did I close you out? No, you came in. Okay. And we'll... Oh, we have tons of power. Let's turn back on the cafeteria. Oh. <laughs> Sorry you're eating on the floor, LL. Okay, we're gonna pick up the speed 
everything's turning. This is going to be the last time we turn off all the power. Because we're going to get this built. I don't care what we have to do. What do we have to do? We need to make ore is what we have to do. We have three people in the mine. It should be coming out. Not the workers. The ore. And also, I've been noticing a couple um, people have been thirsty. And I'm not sure if it's because they've been thirsty while they've been on these machines. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and put in another fountain. Um, I was trying to conserve water because of the lab going in, but if we're waiting on that, then there's really no point. Our food is, uh, well, we have seven meals. That's not bad. Seven meals, we only have ten colonists. That's, that is absolutely fine. Hopefully that was enough. And our day is at an end. Everyone is out of the mine. And we have a little tiny bit of extra power. Why, um... Oh, do you know what? Let's see. Okay, it looks like they're done in the mine. Or the factory for tonight. Yeah, eight meals. This is going up. I think we have enough food. In fact, I think we could probably... Uh, during the day when we're not draining our power, we're going to uh, turn on that landing pad and get in a medic. But, let's see if we can get this planned out a little bit. Because as soon as that... Uh, we want a storage over here. Because I'm going to have the control center and landing pads over here. Our factory. Is almost built. Very nice. And. Yeah. Do we. No. We don't need storage. We have been doing just fine without it. Um, but instead of building bunks. And the like they'll bring this extra plastic over to our factory. Which is a better use of it. And let's pick up the pace again. It will be so nice to have a normal base again. Is everyone up? Just about? We'll turn back on the processing plant. And we have three machines for people to work. And we have that little extra bit of power that hopefully we're not going to run into problems with that. Because as ever, the food is a concern. Two more to go. I'm getting really tired of you. Um, it's fine. It's not that critical. And that is seven. Oh, do you know what? Yeah. Hello, recycle. God damn it. Okay, back on. And that is the last time we're going to have power problems. S slow down this momentous occasion as Maria, Maria, who was original colonist, is uh, bringing our last metal out to our large solar panel, which is going to fill our large power collector. And yeah, let's turn it all on. Oh, and uh, Simon of your, Simon McBride, was nice enough to explain the landing permissions uh, to me. Basically, they work on the, the difference in the percentages. So right now, if I understand this correctly,
Yeah, if I understand this correctly. <laughs> A big if. Let's see. If I have... Stupid. Okay, if I have this set up like like this, this would be a negative 10 chance for a worker, uh, a neutral chance for biologist engineer, and a plus 10 chance for a medic. So I'd be guaranteed a medic uh, with this setup. If I increase this up to, say, 60, I still hate this system. Hate it. Um, If I had something like this, it would be uh, 50 minus 60 would be plus 10 chance of worker. Um, 10 minus 0 would be a plus chance for a medic. So if we get one worker, I'll have a 50-50 chance of getting a medic or a worker. If we get multiples, I'll get one of each. So we're going to test out that bit of information and my understanding of it and get another medic or worker in. If we get a worker in, that's fine. They can uh, take up the place because Jamie's out of commission. If we get a medic, that's fine. That's probably better because they'll fix up Jamie and get Jamie back in the mine. Um, food does not seem to be a problem. I think we can feed another couple people. <laughs> Especially when they're all broken. Okay, let's uh let's speed this up and see how we uh make out. I don't need to babysit the power for right now. Um we're going to increase priority on this, but the next thing we want to do with our infrastructure because I do want that lab is is prepare for our water. Uh, let's recycle that and put it and move it out of the way while we're waiting. Because the connection is going to go off there and it's going to, that's going to knock it off the wall anyway. And let's get a full, a full factory of machines. Actually, that plastic machine, eh. That's the only, the only bad thing. I like, I think putting in that tomato plant and taking out the wheat was the right decision uh, for that little bit of extra food, but it means that we compromised our starch production. Uh, but it's all a balancing act. We'll fix it soon enough. I think, I actually think right now we're at I would consider this challenge kind of met, I think. Um, we've su sustained our starting base. Um, we're beyond what we would have been if we started out with all of the materials that we would have gotten from recycling our colony ship. So I really think this colony, this challenge is met. Uh, but I've been enjoying this. So we're going to keep going with it and hope, and I hope you'll, uh, you'll follow along if you have been. I'm very appreciative of the, the few, very few people, uh, who are, who are watching this series and, uh, seeming to enjoy it. So uh, thank you for that. And where are our landing permissions? Now they just explained how all this works and I'm gonna go right back to doing what I usually do. Um, and that's simply because all I want now is more workers. Actually, I'm not sure. I think I'll leave that decision up to the next episode. We've made strides towards getting our uh, factory in place. We're only two metals short. We did not have to turn off the power, which was an absolute pleasure. 
we still have a ton which will see us through the next couple buildings um, the factory will use a lot and the lab perhaps will be all crazy and get storage too okay yes uh, I'm gonna call this the end of the episode thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll come back for part 7